So you might be in a situation where for some reason your voicemail is full on your iPhone and you might be trying to figure out how you can fix that. Now, there's really only one main way to fix it and that's by clearing out voicemails that you have in the background. So what you can do is you can make your way over to your specific you know, phone application and go and open it up. Now under voicemail, which is right here, you wanna go and tap into voicemail and you wanna go and start clearing out the voicemails that you basically have. Now to clear out a voicemail, you basically wanna find the voicemail that you have you can swipe to the side to delete it, or you can tap on the voicemail and then delete it from there. So you can go through each individual voicemail that you have. You don't have to delete all of them, but I would recommend the big ones that are like a few minutes long. Just go ahead and start removing them and deleting them because you really don't need to use that much data for specific voicemails. So scroll all the way to the end, delete the ones you no longer need. And that's basically the first way to go and fix this problem. Now, let's say you do that and that's still not working. The other thing I recommend doing is making sure that your cell plan has you know, no issues within it and making sure that it's of good quality. So what you can do here is make your way over to your settings application of your iPhone, scroll down until you see cellular, and make sure that your cell plan you know, includes voicemail, but also you may want to contact your carrier and making sure there's nothing wrong with your cell plan. Sometimes your voicemail box can be full and your visual voicemail you know, application is not up to date. So you may want to contact your carrier, let them know, hey, you know, I'm you know, deleting my voicemails and it's still saying it's full. And they can go on their side and pretty much delete a lot of the voicemails and a lot of old stuff there too. Even if it doesn't show up here, it may show up on their side and they can delete it from there as well. If that's still not working, you may want to try updating your iPhone. So make your way back into your iPhone settings panel, scroll down until you see general, scroll into software update, and all you're going to want to do here is just basically update your iPhone and that may end up fixing the problem for you too. So. That pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.